July to everyone who celebrates the 4th of July. Today, I'm going to make a cute reverse canvas picture saying, let's just stay home with a couple of little cute decals that I cut for my Cricut. Right. What you will need is an 8x10 canvas, an X-Acto knife. I got this from the Dollar Tree too, and it comes with several different blades on it. And I'm also going to stain the wood on the canvas, and I'm using Minwax Wood Finish Golden Oak 210B. But you can use any color stain, or you can paint the wood even. The first thing you'll need to do is use your X-Acto knife and cut this off, which I've already done, and set it to the side. You'll need to flatten it out as much as you can because you're going to be using hot glue or any type of glue to glue the canvas back onto the wood. I'm just going to pop these um, big staples right out of this wood and then we will start staining. I'm just gonna use this sponge brush again from the Dollar Tree to put the stain on there. I just dump the tip in there and stain all of it. I'm gonna stain the outside and the insides of it. Take a paper towel, guys, and just wipe off the extra stain that might be on there. The longer you leave the stain on, the more color it will leave on the wood. I wanted to keep it a natural color. All right, guys, we have stained our canvas wood, and I'm going to set that over there to dry. And remember, if you don't have a Cricut, they have some really great transfer rub-offs at the Dollar Tree, and they also have poster board stickers. And I just saw a couple days ago on someone else's haul. Um, can't remember the channel, but if I do, I'll link it in the description below. Um, they have white poster board letters that you can actually paint to make them any color. So anyone can do anything at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to load this paper in and I'm using gray and black just so I feel like gray and black goes with everybody's designs and my uh, letters are one and a quarter inch um, big. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. So guys, tweaked it just a little bit. We're not going to go ahead and glue this um, beautifully stained wood from the canvas back onto the canvas. We are going to use these really awesome do-it-yourself stencils that we found at the Dollar Tree. They were, they were in the section with the teacher school supplies, I believe, at my Dollar Tree. I only grabbed one because I wasn't quite sure how I would like it, but I found this really cute sunflower. I'm totally obsessed with sunflowers now. Totally obsessed. So we're going to do some acrylic paint on the canvas. Try and decide where I want to put it. I think I want to put it right here in the corner, down in the bottom left-hand corner. All right, we're going to use a yellow paint, green, a little bit of white to brighten up those petals for some of them. We've got these little and we got I got this three pack of these uh, stencil brushes also from the Dollar Tree. So let's start painting this sunflower. Also guys, uh, if, if, if you're like everyone else in America basically, we all have the ice maker already in our fridge. So 
ice trays that we used to have to have all the time. Perfect for putting your paints in for acrylic and then you could just clean it out easily. I'm using the stencil and I really like it. It's getting a lot of good coverage on this flower. All right, so I have done the uh, stem leaves and then the background little petals. Did those the original um, yellow and then I added um, some white to get that real sunflower color. Then on the inside of the flower, we're going to do the brown and then we're going to move on to gluing this canvas back together. That is perfect. I love it. Okay. All right, guys, I am lining up this wood piece just to see exactly where I want it. Yes, it is over that sunflower, but it's still going to be really cute. We're going to use the X-Acto knife, guys, to cut the rest of this. Just go down as many times as you need to. I am making sure that every piece of the canvas is glued on somewhere and really nice and firm. Uh, when you're making things like this, I, a lot of times I make these to sell, so I don't want my product to be falling apart. This is the cute decals that I have found on a cartridge that I had for the Cricut. It's a home and a key inside of this cute little ornament, and I just could not resist myself. These are double layer stencils. So what I did is I first made the circle, then I made the key, I took the key off and put it right on top of this gray circle. Look how cute that key is. I love it. Should I cut this off? All right guys, these were like a little ornament, but I just went ahead and cut it off to make it a little, little less Christmas looking. And more natural looking and here we go the other sticker stencil and we are done thanks for hanging out with me tonight let me know the next thing you want me to do comment below and I hope to see you guys back very very soon